do parents have a legal obligation to pay for their kids' college? Now, this question recently played out in a New Jersey courtroom, folks. This is what happened. A 21-year-old successfully sued her divorced parents for $16,000 a year in tuition money. The girl's father said it started a year ago when she was caught drinking. So instead of following his new rules, she moved in with her grandparents and cut ties with him. He blames the grandparents for encouraging the suit. The girl won the suit. Kim, what's your take on this? You know what my take is going to be on this. Are you kidding me? First of all, if my children sued me, we would never make it to trial. <laughs> Because you would be in jail. I would be in jail. For putting your hand <laughs> on. I can't, well, thanks, Adrian. Now I'm going to go to jail for <laughs> defects because she's called me out. But anyway, <laughs> this is a prime example of the entitlement millennial generation. Yeah. I have so many problems with this. This, this young girl, what kills me is, so your parents don't pay for your college education. Your first inclination is, I think I'll sue them. Not I think I'll get a job. Not I think I'll help them pay for it. Not I think I'll take out a student loan. I'm going to sue them. Let me tell you something. They call it earning a degree for a reason. You got to earn it. Yeah. You need to go to work. You need to pay. And I will say this. I have so many friends who have kids in college that are doing their children a disservice because when those, college gra when those kids graduate from college, they don't know what to do with their lives and how to pay for what they want to do with their lives. The best thing you can do is teach your child how to earn what they get. Mm -hmm. Adrian, do you agree? I, I do agree. I think it's a very unfortunate case because not only is this now interrupting with this, this young woman's education, but now it's interrupting the family dynamic. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, don't, I, I hope there's a repair, but I don't really see one after this because it just seems like it escalated more and more and more out of, out of control. And mm -hmm. I mean, now she doesn't even, you know, really talk to her parents. I think the article said her father says he only sees her or speaks to her mm -hmm. in court. I don't think that it's a moral or legal obligation for parents. I know with my family, you know, it was an honest conversation that we had in our household. My parents said, we would like for you to go to college. This is what we're setting up for you guys, you know, but obviously I still had to get you know, scholarships and so forth like that. But I think it, I think today it's too hard to put that responsibility on a family. It's, it's financially really difficult mm -hmm. to afford for college. To, to I agree with that. Today. Paula, what do you think? You know, it's really heartbreaking because I think there's got to be a backline to this that none of us are probably aware of. How did it get to this point? Mm -hmm. I mean, what happened that gets to the point? So there's a lot of anger towards this girl. And I, and I can understand some of the comments and some of the things, but I'm going to side a little bit to say, how does a girl get to the place that she would sue her parents? I mean, I, I could never imagine doing that. They said, would you, would your kids ever sue you? I said, absolutely not, because the respect and the trust and the communication that's been built. So, and I said, if they did, if one of them, game's on, you better put on your big boy boxers and let's deal with it because you better get the best attorneys. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to go there, then let's go have there. Have your money right. Yeah, have <laughs> your money, have your best attorneys, yeah. and have your case ready because we're, we're going to. So it was interesting to me because why, what, what, where was the breach that it got to this point? The breach, so, I think, Paula, is when she took that drink down there and lost that internship. <laughs> <laughs> but see, that was it. But that, that see, might be an assumption. And, but, and, the, and, and the parents put parameters on the child, and the child didn't like it. Right. And so so then she, she didn't moved want, she in didn't with want, the grandparents. Correct. Yeah, and the now, grandparents are sticking it to them. Yeah, they were going to, I think, pay for her education if she stayed within the state, which yes. I think was very responsible Thank given you. what she did out of their, you know, uh, control, out see, of their environment. This, this is an impossible story to me. Yeah. Yes. None of my children <laughs> oh, gosh. are ever going to see them. Could, so they would never sue me. Right. Number one, uh -oh. all of my children fear me. Yeah. At, I'm talking about, but in a respectful yes, way. Sir. There it is. They respect me, but now my sons actually fear me. Right. Mm -hmm. Because they already know. My sons, look, man, you're going to do what to me? Right. <laughs> like, I made you. Mm -hmm. How you going to do that to me? And then I want to see what court mm -hmm. is going to make me send $16,000 to a school. Mm -hmm. I want to see how that's done. Because, see, we're going to see all that. By the time 
all of the appeals come in that I'm gonna do because I got a bunch of lawyers. Exactly. You'll be 35 lawyer. years old. <laughs> you will have been done completed several Wendy's management <laughs> training programs by then. Because I promise you, I, I will wear you, you down. down. <laughs> I, got, I, I got bull crap money. I got money to just yin, 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 yin. I put Make stuff out on the internet about you. <laughs> I mess your little life up. <laughs> And then I'll release information that I'm not your real daddy anyway. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It just gets it thicker and thicker. thicker. <laughs> I know how to falsify a DNA report. <laughs> no. People do anything for all money. This on television. <laughs> well, see, a lot of my kids, if you look at them, they favor me. But you know, hey. <laughs> Stop, stick. Things Steve, happen. adopt us. We'll be your kids. Everybody be my kids. <laughs> hey, folks, uh, up next, we're going to have more controversy, more conversation. Just stay with us. This is my favorite panel right here. <laughs>